Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we've got a workshop upgrade to do to the TRX4. Previously, we had the Defender towing the boat down to the lake, and it was a very warm day, and the 3S battery, and with the curb weight of the Land Rover and the uh, towing weight of the trailer, I seem to have totally cooked the motor. So again, it's time to swap out this brushed motor, and this time we're going to go for a brushless, and it's the Hobbywing Fusion SE, 1800 kV from Hobbywing, and it includes the ESC as well. The only concern I have, and I've done a lot of research about this, is how this will work with the ProScale lighting system. So we'll remove the battery tray to make access easier. I've removed the motor and also taken out the stock ESC because the new system's got an ESC built in and this is where the potential problem lies. Now the old ESC has a power supply to a JSC plug and this is 12 volts and this is what normally connects here which provides power to the Beck upgrade but also to the pro scale lighting system and the new motor doesn't have that power supply and because it's 12 volts you can solder in a, a spur but I found an easier way of doing it so with the motor installed, I found this extension cable for the XT60 um, from Amazon and it's already got the JST plug pigtail into it, which means I can connect the motor to that and the battery to that and then this power supply will continue the circuit for the lights and also the motor sensor cable will not be used anymore because as long as you've got the max link cable connected into the receiver the light module should know when the car's going forwards and when it's in reverse for doing things like the brake lights and the reverse lights so there shouldn't be any change there so with the new motor wires on top we're going to reattach the motor mount plate in position C which is for the stock 11 tooth pinion and I'm also going to flip the pinion round because the motor shaft is slightly shorter and we're going to thread lock just loosely and then we'll set it back in into the chassis and align it properly. And we're going to put the cover back on top. And then just roll it backwards and forwards, and you can hear how good the mesh is or if there's any problems. Now, as this sensored motor is extremely programmable you wouldn't want to not have the program card and there is one important reason for having this so the program card has got a set of items and values and with the motor comes this sticker which goes on this universal program card so that it can be specific to this fusion se motor so we're going to put that on there And you can see under item 5 that you can change the motor rotation. Now the, the stock TRX motor says reverse rotation because it has the portal axles. So most motors work anti-clockwise, but for this car to go forwards 
it needs to work in a clockwise direction which is reverse so when we come to set up the programming we need to make sure that we set the motor to clockwise and then it will go forward but we'll come back to the programming in a little while so before we put everything back together we're just going to connect everything up so the ESC cable from the motor goes to the back battery lead goes to the new extension and then onto the motor and the pigtail goes to the power it's a good idea to put the car up on a stand just in case anything takes off and turn the transmitter on and fire up the power Steering's good. And the motor's good. And of course, pressing it forward, the wheels are actually going backwards because we haven't set the programming yet for the motor to go clockwise. So, so far, so good. We'll put the battery tray in, tidy all this back up, and then we'll go through the programming and also calibrate the ESC and then finally we'll check the lights. The power is now off at this point. So to set the throttle calibration, we're going to turn on the transmitter and we're going to hold the power button down for about eight seconds till it starts flashing and then let it go. With the throttle in neutral, we'll press it once and we'll get a green light. We're going to then pull the trigger fully, press it again, and we get the green light and then forward. We're now going to use the program card to set the various parameters. So it's this top right hand connector here and the negative is the one furthest away which is black. And the other end goes into the power switch. So there's a little rubber bung that protects the electronics. And the other end goes in there again with black to negative. So that's connected. We're then going to press the power button to turn it on. The program card should light up with the item which corresponds to these different parameters and the value which is the white bits within each one. So the first item is RPM throttle matching and I'm going to go with enabled which is one. So we'll click on OK, press the item button for 2, which is the type of LiPo cells. So you can choose <clears throat> 2S or 3S or automatic. I'm going to leave it on 1 as automatic because I only run full batteries and it should know the difference between a 3 and a 2S. Item 3, cutoff voltage, is already set at 3, medium. And the recommendation is you keep it at that. Four is the ESC thermal protection. I'm going to keep it to the lower setting, which is one. Moving on to five is the motor rotation. It's currently one, which is counterclockwise. 
and of course we've already said that we need it to be clockwise so we're going to change the value to 2 which is clockwise and press OK on to item 6 which is the back voltage it's set at 6 volts I'm going to leave it at that 7 is the brake drag force and it's set to 6 which is level 5 um, I'm probably going to leave it at that for the time being until I see how it actually operates and then I can come back and adjust it 8 is the brag trait the blah, blah, the drag brake rate which is 5 and again that's pretty much middle middle ground so I'm going to leave that and see how it operates and then finally 9 the maximum reverse force is set at 4 which is 100% I'm going to reduce that I only want a little bit of soft reverse so I'm going to go for 2 which is 50% and click OK to save that. And that's it. Pretty simple and so easy to do on the trail. So as opposed to having the five settings that you used to have with the um, stock ESC, you've now got any number of different variables for running trails or rock crawling or racing, whatever. And then we just power that off. And that will be set. And we'll just place the rubber bung back in there to keep the wet and mud out. So we're all good to go. So we've plugged the lights into the unit and we're going to check the lights and also the motor direction. So now when I power it up, I'm very pleased to say that all the lights are working. I just want to check check the rear lights. So if we go forwards, the brake light works. And reverse, the reverse light works. And as you can see. We've now got the forward motion of the wheels with the motor running the right way. Now I will do a separate field test to test out the, um, the FOC or the field operated control, I think it is. Um, but first impressions are that the motor is so quiet and it's so smooth at low speed. And you could probably tell from this video that the front wheels are moving fractionally faster than the rear because I have put some overdrive gears in the front diff and that just helps on on crawling technical ground when you're trying to turn it will effectively drag the back end so that you can turn sharper so we'll be able to test how that works as well So that's on the low speed and then we can switch the tracks to the uh, second gear and that still works back to first and then if we set the speed and hit the speed control Then it also keeps that constant speed. I was hoping that that would still work, and it does because it's the it's the the max link that's telling the ESC and the motor what to do. So the functionality is um, is all the same. Happy days! So stay tuned for the next episode. And hopefully by then we'll also have a steering wheel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>